It's a lot different from what I expected. Uh, everybody you know, talks about Gibraltar as a rock and the fact that there were tunnels, uh, the, the number of tourists, the, the whole intensity of the place has come as a total surprise, a, a pleasant surprise, mind you. I'm a writer, I was uh, formerly a lecturer in maths, so people are my thing. I'm really here to explore the relationships between people, between Gibraltarians and tourists, between ourselves as artists and tourists, and just to come away you know, with some fantastic memories of the place. And Gibraltar has that close sense of uh, community. It's a very big word for us being such a close-knit community. Um, what is it about that that interests you when you talk about people, when you talk to people? I'm from a fairly small community myself. I'm from the Caribbean, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And one of my beliefs is that communities are central to existence. If we're going to have decent relationships, we want people who are looking out for our backs. And in a small community like this one, you always feel that uh, somebody is going to be looking after you and the same way you have to reciprocate. Uh, Rhiannon, I want to come to you now, if that's okay. Tell me a little bit about, uh, for those who may not know your work, what it is that you do and your impressions of Gibraltar as well. Um, I actually came to Gibraltar when I was a child because I grew up on a boat. So I was living on a boat between uh, seven and 15. And so we actually came to Gibraltar when I was seven and we spent a few months here. So um, things have changed quite a bit since then. I mean, the building amount, I mean, it, it's really quite shocking. Um, but you know, I have really fond memories of the place and I've been able to relive some of those over the last few days. And nowadays I'm a photographer. I have very few images of when I was growing up. I have one, I think, in Gibraltar, which I think I've shared uh, publicly, but it's been interesting being able to go back and kind of relive some of those moments and kind of see it through fresh eyes and fresh perspective. And I make a lot of work about the British overseas territories, about the kind of long arm of colonialism, about um, tight knit communities. And so really I'm interested again, like Cecil, is about getting out there and meeting people and being able to be in spaces where locals are and it's been interesting watching I think for me you know when cruise ships come in and how the actual geography and kind of the feel I suppose of Gibraltar changes um, almost momentarily it feels like a gust of wind that comes in and then leaves again so I think I've been appreciating the sort of ebbs and flows and how much of an impact that you know a small group of people can actually make in, in this particular place and it's exciting as well to be here during the election time and to be here during such a period of change so and uh, I wanted to ask you as well, I have it on good authority, you're part of the SpaceX program. I mean, there's seeing Earth through a particular lens. This is a whole other world, if you will. Can you tell us about that experience? Yeah, so I am, I'm part of the Dear Moon crew, which is a week-long uh, circumnavigation of the moon. Um, so we're going literally around the Earth, we loop back out around the moon and come back again. And so we get to watch Earth rise and I'm slightly filled with trepid trepidation more about the um, fact that I can put my thumb over the whole of the earth and everyone I've ever known, loved, met, wave at Gibraltar <laughs> as I go past. Um, but it's an artist-led crew, so there's eight of us that are creatives and we're all kind of tasked with creating work to reflect on the kind of human condition and of actually putting aside our differences and trying to be a sort of a, a symbolic crew from different parts of the world that can put aside our differences and give the world something positive to focus on. Will you be taking a camera with you to be able to take the best photograph you've probably ever taken? No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll be taking several cameras with me, as many as the payload will allow, I think. Um, that's the one thing about going to space, is that every single kilo you need a lot of fuel to get it off the ground. So um, we are slightly restricted on our baggage, but um, I'm working with engineers right now on developing a system where I can do wet processing, because I actually don't shoot digital, I shoot everything on analog cameras. So I use real film, and I like the idea of having the physical film in space and creating physical images in space that are brought back to Earth and have never actually, you know, there was no kind of hand, earthly hand touching it. It was just all made outside in space. So that's what I'm hoping to bring back and to bring back almost artifacts from our journey rather than it just being photographs of the journey. I think that helps in the kind of days of like AI and truth and fiction and to be able to make something real in that, in the exact space where it was taken. Cecil, I just want to ask you one final question. I understand that you were a teacher first. Um, tell me a little bit about, you know, because th that in itself is dealing with community. How has that sort of in enforced what you've done now as an artist? 
That's a difficult question, although it seems relatively simple. Uh, as a teacher, you're really hoping to develop uh, young people, to put them in a particular way, to say, here you are, you've got a career in mind, uh, you can make it. If you don't make it, it's not the end of the world, look at alternatives. As an artist, you're trying to give people an experience they might not have had. So you, you get to look at another world through the lens of another person. And so I don't see them as being very diff different. Uh, the, the writer explores and opens up images and ideas to people who perhaps have never been along that route before. And the teacher perhaps is more constrained in the sense that our students have an idea of where they want to go and we help as far as we can and uh, celebrate their successes when they achieve it.